But I suppose the reason I wanted to come on and, and talk about it tonight is because, you know, I was asked the question all the time, when are you having a family? When are you having a family? And I think, you know, um, that, well, one, that gets quite tiring, you know, but that's, you kind of face it when you're in the public mm. eye. It's a, very, but it's a very impolite question. It is. I think. It yeah. is. I understand why, because it's like before I got engaged, it's when you're married, and now when you haven't, get, you know, and then when will be the next one? You know, it's kind of as a constant. But um, I just found that talking about it, and sometimes I'm can stand accused of talking before I think or being a little bit too honest. Um, and you know, for me, it was like what helped me was there's so many amazing forums out there for people who've been through miscarriage. There is, there are so many helplines. I didn't go through counselling, yeah. but to talk about it, I think I, it's one of the, it's still a taboo subject in Ireland. Um, and I just think it needs to be part and considered mm. to be part of the pregnancy process because mm. it is. Mm. It's a very healthy thing to be talking about it, I think, tonight. I think it's, it's, it's very useful. Well, I to hope people. so if it helps somebody. Like it's taken us three long years and we're not out, you know, I mean, I kind of toy, I, 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 when, when I was asked to come on, I was like, you know, until I have a baby in my yeah, arms, it's still kind of, you know, weird for me to talk about it. But if it gives anybody hope out there that, you know, you can get to a place and just to try and stay as positive as you can, even when you don't feel it, um, that would be the only kind of piece of advice I'd give to any couple. And